guys welcome back to my channel i am leticia and this is that so leticia and to all of my new viewers supporters subscribers welcome guys and thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you enjoy the content and to all of my returning viewers supporters subscribers welcome back guys as always it is a pleasure to see you without further ado let's jump right into this video so of course we're going to do our makeup um last time i used this i had really good results so i think i'm going to use this is a primer by rare beauty this one is called pour diffusing primer always an optimist so yeah i received so many of these free samples at a rare beauty event that i recently went to so I have been sitting on them for quite a while, kind of being a creature of habit and just sticking with the primer that works for me. But I decided to pull these out about a week ago and I'm kind of glad I did. It gives me good results. I don't have much shine or separation of makeup throughout the day as I'm wearing it. So yeah. This is our primer for today's look. So now I'm going to use a color corrector under my eye. This is by Huda Beauty. This is the Faux Filter Color Corrector in shade Papaya. And since we're underpainting today, I'm going to go light on the product because what I am learning is when you underpaint, you put the bulk of your complexion products on before you do your foundation, but depending on how sheer your foundation is, some of those under painted products can still show through. And color correcting on lower portion of my face, I'm going to use by Fenty Beauty. This is a match stick and pumpkin. And now using a Makeup Shack T29 brush. We're just going to begin to blend this all in. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my concealer. First concealer I'm going to use is by Huda Beauty. This is also from the Faux Filter Collection. And this one is Salted Caramel 7.3G. And I'm just going to apply this to my under eye area. And as I do this, I wanted to get you guys' opinion on something. I always like to have some sort of topic to talk about while I'm doing my makeup. Um, just kind of helps pass the time and it doesn't seem so boring, right? So I was on Twitter. I refuse to call it. That's just me. It's been Twitter since day one, so it's Twitter. But anywho, I'm on Twitter and I saw the status and the status pretty much went something like Dubious Place, I Am Magic, Concealer Shade 11. Um, the status pretty much went something to the effect of having, you know, like does everyone have difficulty um, making friends or meeting new friends? And that resonated with me because even at my big age, right? With my relocation and everything from my hometown to all the way on the opposite side of the country, I've noticed that there is definitely a friendship deficit in my life. There is definitely a girlfriend deficit in my life. And, oh Lord, and I got the concealer all on the side here. Look at me trying to talk while I do my makeup. So when I saw that, 
status, I was like, that's very interesting because I thought that I was kind of in this alone, pun intended. Meaning it does, at least in my opinion and in the opinion of those that were on Twitter sharing their stories as well, it does seem to get more difficult to make friends as you get older. I found myself in certain arenas in my new environment where, you know, I'm at a party or I'm at a women's event and the vibe seems like it's going well, but then things get really clicky and I kind of feel like that new kid on the playground, first day at a new school in a new town, you don't know anyone. And it's kind of like you're standing there and you're looking at all of this happen, all of these plans and dates. I've even been to one gathering where I'm vibing with all the ladies, right? And then out of the blue, one of the ladies, and mind you, this was not even like my first encounter with them. One of the ladies just full on goes to all the other girls around me without me even being included. And is like, oh, I'm having a get together. You know, it's gonna be like a pool party, da 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 da. Like bring, you know, everybody you know. And she's like specifically talking to these girls around me. And it was like a bit of me got excited because I'm like, at any point, she's going to invite me. This is going to be my gateway to be able to meet additional women out here, kind of network. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity. That invite never showed up. After she kind of talked to them and, oh, I'm gonna give you guys my information in a bit. Then it went back to normal. And then I was re acclimated into the conversation. And I'm like, this heifer, y'all really standing here in my face. Like we literally was just talking about something collectively and having a really good conversation. I'm going to use Camo Blush by e.l.f. Uh, what is this? Shade is, there is no shade, it's just numbers. No, it is, I'm blind. Suave Mauve. So I'm like, we are collectively standing here having a full on good damn conversation. You derail the group conversation for your announcement about this pool party. I don't know, like, it, it's so weird. Like the dynamics of of people nowadays, it's, it escapes me, like how people can be the way that they are. But yeah, I literally thought I was the only one. Like your girl is, is having a moment when it comes to making friends. A place I never thought in my big age I would be at. I used to have a amazing friend group. Juvia's Place, I Am Magic. This is going to be for contour, shade number six. Yeah, back home I used to have an amazing like friend group. We went places together, we did things together, we volunteered, we, you know, fed the homeless together, we the dynamic was there and we were different. We came from different, you know, walks of life. We didn't always agree on everything. Like we held each other accountable. We kind of put each other to the fire if something was just bogus. And you know, it, it's like, I miss that. But with the relocation and then the I don't know if it's the area I moved to. I don't know if this is just like the vibe here, but it just seems so weird. I don't know. Like I have dated myself more times than enough at this point. And don't get me wrong. I really enjoy my own company. I am an introvert by nature. So I do enjoy my own company, but at some point in time, even the groundhog has to come out whether he sees his shadow or not is irrelevant but at some point he has to come out for air and be around the people so it it's just i don't know but what do you got 
what do you guys think? Like, have you noticed that you're having difficulty? If you're even trying, maybe you're not even trying, but if you are trying, are you noticing that you're having like a difficult time like meeting people? I feel like I need to go to one of those like friend speed friendship or like kind of like a speed event for friends as opposed to dating. <laughs> but I don't know, that just seems so pretentious. I don't want to have to meet people and run down all of my accomplishments, all of my accolades, talk about this and talk about that. Like, hey, can't we just vibe? Like what, what happened to those days? I just want to vibe. I just want to be like, oh, she cute. Oh, she cute. Oh, okay, girl, I like what you got on. Girl, where you get that from? Girl, let me tell you. And then from there is just this organic like friendship that just blossoms. And mind you, I have had so many of those encounters out here. But after that, it's like, okay, bye. I'm on VIP to get in this club. I have to go. Or oh, you don't look like you know this person. Or it doesn't look like I can get that out of you. So bye. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's just gross. So now I'm going to also put on e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Yeah, it's just, mm, mm, I, I don't know. It, the whole idea of like friendship now, at this point in my life, it's pretty much like, you know what, Letitia, what you have, just deal with that. And the unfortunate part about that is my closest friends live 1800 miles away, 1800 miles away. So when there are those times where I want to do girls night, gang night, date night, group date night. Um, I'm not doing that <laughs> nowhere out here unless I move back home or not move back home. It's really not an option unless I go back home to visit. And I actually used to play that game when I would get lonely and bored and kind of just depressed where I live. I would drive all the way back home just for like a weekend, you know, just to see people's face and have people say like, hey, you're cool. Hey, we miss hanging out with you. But girl out here, mm -mm. no, no, no. So now I'm just blending in everything. Now I'm going to take a e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and just blend out the liquid filter and the blush. But yeah, like I was saying, I was under the impression I was alone or that I was just doing something wrong until I saw so many other people kind of share their stories on Twitter. And I'm like, why has the dynamic changed? What am I missing? What, what is it that I'm missing that I'm being looked over for pickup basketball <laughs> for the pickup games? It's like, okay, you're you're here and we acknowledge you and we thank you for coming out. But yeah, if, if, if it's four on four, we'll do three on four or like make it make sense. And I've even had some people tell me to go on to Bumble for friends. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm like, really? Bumble for friends. Now I've heard of Bumble for dating. I've, I didn't even know it was a thing for friends. And I've tried like the whole meetup and you know, I've met a few people off of there, but it's like the same thing, the same thing. And I know that friendships are supposed to be transactional. I totally get that. But 
if you're only looking to see what can you always get out of somebody like some freebies or to get in somewhere for free or like I don't want to be friends with those type of people anyway then I, I just don't and now for foundation about face in D1 neutral this one is called the performer love this foundation definitely am in love with the applicator I know normally when I put on foundation, there tends to be a, quite a bit that I can waste. So I love that this applicator kind of makes sure that you don't. Using my IT Cosmetics dual-sided airbrush foundation brush. Now I'm going to begin to start setting everything. We're first going to use Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Blue Setting Powder in the shade Kunafa. Okay, so I'm going to first apply using a damp beauty sponge that is not so damp anymore. It's getting, it's getting ridiculous out here in these streets. And again, as I stated, when I was on Twitter, I see I'm not the only one. I'm not the minority. There were so many people of different calibers chiming in and, you know, just talking about their experiences. Um, some even had horror stories of trying to make friends you know after they've reached a certain age or if they've moved to a, a different area like why is it so hard why is it so hard to be like hey girl what are you doing let's go out let's go shopping let's go to brunch like i don't find these things difficult i'm going to use laura mercier's Translucent Pressed Setting Powder Ultra Blur, and this is in medium deep. I like to use this one around like my laugh lines because throughout the day, sometimes the makeup can settle in and you start seeing a little creasing, but this actually, like it really does help to combat that. I mean, Laura Mercier was bomb anyway. So with this press powder, ultra blur um, technology, it, it just amped it up that much more. And then to brighten my under eye area, I'm going to use by Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Press Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Cherry blossom cake and for this one I just tend to press it in not so much move it around and then Charlotte Tilbury's setting powder So the shadow that I'm going to use for this look, P. Louise. And the item that I purchased, let sit that there. Item that I purchased, this is chapter three, a brand new chapter to palette for eye and face. But what I am really, in, this is the packaging and you see how wide it is reason for that so the reason that I am so drawn to these in particular um, I mean I saw a lot of the other items that they offer and I'm like okay that's cute but 
just not for me. But the reason that I was super drawn to this one is because it is a book of sorts. So there are pages here. And in these pages, which is genius, this is genius. If you are someone that travels often, I would say you need something like this. And the reason is you get a mirror for you to use and it's an actual functioning mirror. I just haven't taken the protective plastic off. Um, you get your shadows. There are three chapters. I have chapter two and three now, I believe this is. Yeah, chapter two and three. So this is your page of shadows. And then you have a page of blushes. You get a page of bronzers. And then a page of highlighters. All you would need is like your foundation, your concealer, your press powder, and you're good. So again, this is P. Louise. It's a UK-based beauty brand. I paid 52, and then of course the taxes and duties. It's on sale, guys, if you are interested in it. I'm looking on the website and they've marked it down from 52 to $47. I was even able to use my Klarna with this, so I didn't even have to purchase it outright. I just did it in installments which is nice because I bought some other things from them also. Okay, so I am gonna try and use a little bit of this base. I'm going to apply using a Morphe M224 brush. And let's see. And they say to use this to create a perfect blank canvas for your looks. So we'll see if we're able to achieve that. I'm just going to use my Real Techniques brush to kind of lot it in. So first I'm going to use this matte shade here, which is called Good Life. And I'm going to pretty much use that as my transition shade, applying it using a Morphe M504 brush. This is an extremely pigmented brand. Okay, and next I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Lovely Life, still using the M504, and begin to apply that towards my crease. And now I'm just using the little mirror that comes with the palette. Shacks T64, which is this brush here, and I'm going to begin to apply Make Me Proud, the shade here, right below the crease. I'm going to kind of stamp it in. still going to use the T64 and we will begin to pack, pack like we have somewhere to go right on top of Make Me Proud
guys are wondering, am I experiencing a fallout? I am not, no. And even if I show you the palette itself with me kind of digging my brush in there, see? Really no fallout even in the palette. Okay, and now on top, I'm gonna try and apply this with a brush. Um, this was a Morphe R42. Okay, so we're going to go with this one instead, which is called I Always Win, period. Don't we all? <laughs> if we don't think like that, we need to. So I'm going to apply that to Oh, cute. Right at the lid. And you can bring it up just a little. Again, starting at your lid. And then you can bring it up however far up you want to. We are now going to apply just a basic black liner. This is by Wet n Wild and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line and also to my water line. top of the liner. Still using the same little liner brush that I used from Eco Tools. I am going to apply more Miracles, which is the shade here. going to move on to bronzers um, just to warm up my face. You guys know I live for a good bronzer. I did not skip it, this look. I just wanted to use the bronzers that came in this kit. So I'm going to use, uh, let's use this one here. And the lip liner I will be using is going to be by MAC Cosmetics. This is in the shade Chestnut. And then I'm going to apply a lip bullet by Huda Beauty. This is a soft matte in the shade Last Night. And on top of that, I'm going to apply a lip gloss by ColourPop. And this is in the style name, Major Throwback. All right guys, so this is the final look. Off camera, I applied some Lily Foaming Lashes in the style 34th Street. I actually cut them in half. I feel like it works better for my eye shape. I don't know. I'm just digging it right now. And then I also applied this super cute headband. It's like a brassy kind of headband. I got it from Target about maybe four years ago and I've only worn it one time. I felt like today was the day to pull it out. So yeah, here we are again on my little butterflies. But guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. 
I hope you enjoyed the topic. Like, is there anyone else out there besides me in a friend route? What are you doing to get by? Like, how many dates can one take themselves on before you kind of start ghosting <laughs> yourself? <sighs> Guys, what can we do? Have y'all tried Bumble for friends? I feel like not downloading that app. I don't want to say I'm at that point as of yet, but I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't go that route, but if it does, I'll keep you guys updated. But as always in the description box below, there will be a list of all products used to achieve this look. Be well, stay safe, exercise, self-care. It is not a privilege, but a necessity. Check in on your strong friends, mm, friends, after you check in with yourself and hopefully these friends are returning the favor by checking in on you. Guys, until next time, we shall chat again soon.